Modes of Entry into International Business Part 1 There are many ways to enter into international business. They are as below. Exporting and Importing It is selling and buying of goods from abroad. It is done in two ways. Direct way A company is directly involved in export and import activities. Indirect way a middleman or entity is involved. Advantages Easiest way to enter international business. Needs less involvement of time and money. Risk on investment is less. Limitations It involves additional costs on packaging, transportation, insurance, custom duty, etc. Import restrictions of countries hamper export potential. Knowing customers of foreign market is difficult. Many firms begin their international business through exports or imports. Contract manufacturing. Here, firms enter into a contract with foreign companies to manufacture goods. It is also known as outsourcing. There are three major forms. Producing components, assembling components, complete manufacturing. Foreign companies provide technological and management guidance. Final products are sold under the brand name of the foreign firm. Advantages Large-scale production without investment as facilities are already existing in foreign countries. Limited investment risk Lower production costs if the facility is based in low-cost country. Increased production capacities of local firms in foreign countries. Chance for local firm to involve in international business. Limitation Lapses in adhering to design and quality standards by local firms cause problem to international firm. The firm in foreign country loses control over manufacturing process. Local firm cannot sell the contracted output. It is to be sold to international company at predetermined prices. Local firms may incur loss if the prices are higher in the open market than the predetermined prices. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.